<laughs> hey, of course, yeah. um, our timing's a little off because it doesn't feel like fall anymore. But, mm -hmm. you know, it is time. We say officially you can decorate for fall. Have you guys started, you know, putting out some fall decorations yet? I've got my LSU wreath on the front door. Does that, does that count? It's football. Well, it's it's fall. football. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll give you a pass on that one. I'm Justin, still mowing a yard. I don't know. Yeah. Like, Doesn't feel like it. Grass clippings and you make a wreath out of that, Dave. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. How about you, Justin? Uh, nothing. Okay. I, haven't, I haven't got there yet. Yeah, I'm still no. very much He's in still moving mode. in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So anyway, all right, we will take it from here. But we want to see some of your yeah. fall decorating pictures. You got a wreath up? We finally put the fall wreath up. You know, you, know, you have? Like oh, man, I need to get on that. Just I haven't done that door. yet. I yeah. haven't even gotten to that yet. But really? you've beaten me to it yet oh. again. But I know some of you, especially some some in our office, have already started decorating. So we want to see those pictures if you've started to put even Halloween decorations I've seen going up around mm, already. I say wait till the 1st of October, but... Oh, you know, but I've seen people like, already start to do it, yeah, I'm, you know? know? But share some of those fall decorating photos at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. We'd love to see them, and maybe that will get me a little more motivated. And if you would like to <laughs> dig into that box. decorate for fall, and the lady that was off camera going, yes, I agree with you, wait till October 1st. <laughs> so it is Natalie Ramirez from Button Down Accessories, and a couple of great items, very fallish. Mm -hmm. Fallish, yes. And a perfect way to spend a weekend, too. Yes. So what we're going to do today, we're going to do two crafts. We're going to do a fall fabric garland and oh, that's so cool. this fun little letter here. I call yes. it, I don't know, I just call it a letter because that's all it is. It's not a monogram, but so well, let's start with the wreath. I mean, the, the, the garland. garland. Mm -hmm. I mean, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to any fabric store and you can buy four or five different colors of fabric. So I pick some that all coordinate. I like to get different prints because mm -hmm. it like spices it Ooh. up a little bit, but you can certainly add a solid and okay. we did that as well. And okay. you can also add lace. Okay. So you get about a quarter of a yard. Okay. This is, I started some down there. Okay. So you're going to get a quarter of a yard, fold it in half. Uh huh. And then you're going to split the ends. Okay. And then, this is the fun part. Fiona's going to like this. Okay. You get your scissors. Uh huh. Cut about one and a half, two inches. Okay. And you just make a, a cut right there. This okay. This is where the ninja's going to come in here. <laughs> the ninja. Are you already <laughs> standing back? Don't worry. Ninja arm. Darn you too. So then all you're going to do is rip. Ninja rip! <laughs> yes, look at that. Okay. Oh, that came out fairly even. Yeah. Okay, and, and it, the kids will have a great time doing yeah, that. Yeah, the kids oh, can yeah. do it too. And I, that's the thing is that these crafts, you can get your kids yes. to do with you, and of course, it will keep them busy. Yes. I also <laughs> call this a nap time craft because any mom can do it while their kids are napping because it doesn't take that long at all. Okay. Oh. So after you strip all of your things, you can set out a pattern however you want it. Like I do every other color, you know so that they're all the green ones aren't together or all the orange ones aren't together. Okay. And then you can get a string or twine or another piece of fabric. And what you're gonna do here, this is the hardest part and it's not hard at all. You're gonna grab it and then, you got it? So you just want one of these. Uh -huh. One of them. Mm -hmm. Loop it around your string. Loop it around my <laughs> string, I can do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you pull it through. Okay. Kind of like a ponytail. Just like that? You got it. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, there and you go. Pull it through, and then you just kind of keep and going then you just down the keep line. Going. Okay, so and then you can separate them as much or push them together mm -hmm. as little as you and want. If you want to use Halloween colors, uh, yes. your favorite football team, That's anything perfect. like that. I did okay. one of these for my niece, and it's in her nursery. Okay. Oh, all right. So, so I'll yes. keep going on this. You do that, and there's a reason for all the sticks out there here. There are. With everything falling, and the kids can go out and clean up the yard, and then yes. So this is a fun, I, I like to call it like an organic looking type of craft because mm -hmm. you get your sticks from right outside. I sent my kids out and I was like, I need some sticks for my crafts. And so they were like thrilled to do it. And they got big pieces, little pieces, and then I had them just crack them. And so mm -hmm. I had this one and this is a wood letter from like Joann's. It cost like $5. Right. And then I just glued all the sticks on there. So this is almost the finished product. Sure. Um, another option is getting a cardboard and tracing the letter on there, and that's what Mike has. Mike, you want to show him? Yeah, so we have the letter C right here. And, and, you, can, just, and you can probably find that online, large letters like that, and just print yeah, them off and I cut them out. I just did it in Word and printed it out. There's a piece right there. Okay. You want to can show you. Mm -hmm. And that was it. And so the to letter do that, C. that craft. <laughs> SA Live is brought to you by. <laughs> the letter C. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. So. so that one you don't even really need to have need to leave the house Oops. to do that one because you don't need anything other than sticks and glue. And Mike is using the Gorilla Glue sticks for the hot glue gun, and those are the best. They make everything stick together. I didn't know Gorilla Glue made hot glue sticks. They're amazing. Okay. They're the best ones. 
You All got right. it? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you and want again, if the kids, you know, if you trust them with a hot glue gun like this, this is a, a great don't. craft for them. They get to get outside, uh, do something other than play on their phones, exactly. right? So anything so, like this and... And it was a nice change of pace from my buttons. Because okay. I usually make um, earrings with fabric. Okay. And so We've got sometimes, some of those pictures up right yeah. Oh, wow. There wow. they are. Look at those. And those are all made with fabric and buttons. So sometimes I'm at the fabric store and I see fabric that's... Mm -hmm. The print is just too big, but I love the fabric. That's why I found this one. Oh. And so I was like, what can I do with it? And you are a mom of two boys. I am. So this is, of course, just one of the ways to kind of keep them busy. Yes. And they enjoy it because I have a whole, my R is going to go on my wall at home. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I have um, one little boy. He's like, Mom, where are you going to put it? And then he rearranged all my R's so that he could put them up. And if you do it the wooden one, then you can hang it outside if you'd yes. like to. And also, you can also glue a, uh, the tab from a uh, soda can. Yes. And just glue that on the back, and that's something to hang it on, to glue it on the back like yes. that. So, okay. So Natalie, the wood one's a little that. bit heavier than that yeah. one, but um, okay. it'll work either way, as long as you use the Gorilla Glue. More ideas from Button Down Accessories. Go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Very good. Thanks. Fiona. All right. Okay. Well, if you aren't really on the crafty side, we know just the place that offers home decor, art, and more to get you ready for the fall season or any occasion. Those certain little things that you can decorate. It's called, called Feliz Modern. It's a one-of-a-kind shop that will definitely put a little Feliz in your life. Feliz. Mm -hmm. Streski here in Almost Park at the new Feliz Modern Shop. It's a place that combines life, art, and fun all into one unique shopping experience. Let's go inside and put a little Feliz in your life. Come on. We want it to feel very happy when you walk in and very clear and open and just put a smile on your face. We want it to be centered on art, home, and life because that's the areas of our life that we love the most. And so I was a photographer. This was actually my old photography studio. And my husband's a graphic designer, so uh, the two of us together brought our love for color and texture and, and just lifestyle. Our aesthetic is very colorful and quirky and fun. From home decor to birthday planning, they have something for everyone. It's like fun pillows and gifts, um, cards and just unique San Antonio flavor. A lot of it's from local artists, international artists. We have some textiles from Turkey, India, Oaxaca. Uh, we source by finding unique things online and then contacting the makers and seeing if we can have them in. They definitely have some unique items. We asked Ginger, what's her favorite? Some of my favorites would be the monkey candelabras and lights, um, the balloon dogs. There's kind of an animal theme there. I, I love animals. Yep. She sure does, and it's no surprise that her shop is dog friendly too. We had a local artist, Maria Curry, paint an Atomi uh, mural on in front of our building, and we incorporated the, our two loves, our two of our dogs, um, Frida and Lacey. <laughs> and they're, one's a Labradoodle and one's a Snorky, so one's about this big and one's about this <laughs> big. And um, so they're incorporated in the mural, and we just love our dogs, and we know that a lot of our friends love their dogs, so we have a little dog water bar out front where dogs can get water and then we have all kinds of dog beds and dog toys and even catnip toys and things for all your pets. And if you're planning a party soon, you can host all the fun there too. It's for corporations to rent out for meetings, pop-up parties, pop-up shops. It comes with seating for 22 and a table, projector, Wi-Fi, and an outdoor courtyard space. This place is an all-in-one. I think it's time for some shopping now. So you ready to shop? Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> Can you tell? Okay, so you know I'm from San Antonio and I really love tacos and I heard you have some cute taco related things. We, I had these made. These are stitched taco money. <laughs> Pouches. So you need, this is a laser cut San Antonio skyline record. That an artist custom laser cut. That's so cool. Okay, this is adorable because you could actually you could make her look like she has hair. Right. Or all kinds With a succulent or flowers or change it up. This is a hanging chair that can go out on a porch or in your house or a kid's room. I would be beautiful on the front porch. We are obsessed with candles here and we really like scents that don't give you headaches. Mm -hmm. So we have a whole, we have five different lines of candles. I love the colors on that. You see that? And vintage too. Yeah. 
I'm back for you. Just a little butt. <laughs> and we have our own puppy ponchos, and we have large dog sizes, which is not common. We have extra, extra small, all the way to extra, extra large. See that, Rossi? Extra, extra small for Patrick. So would that be all? I think so. I didn't think I was going to do shopping, but hey, can't help it. Well, Thank thanks you so for much. coming. Have a pleased day. Thank you. All right. Y'all ready, guys? That's neat stuff. That the record, record? That was cool. That was really neat. And yeah, somebody who's a you know, musician or just somebody who loves music, that'd be great for them. Great stuff like that. You know, you find now that one little thing. I know what to get you thing. for Christmas. I'm just going to write that down. Record. Like the record or those, I like those. Uh, All about, right. As the unique that? finds, aside from the unique finds and Studio, Felice, and Studio Felice, you can rent out. Felice Modern also has a new featured artist every month. Right now you can stop by and take a look at local artist Kelly O'Connor's exhibit, which features her handcrafted sunglasses and beautifully designed wasp, wasp's nests. I want to know, Wow! does she get them herself? Wasp's huh. nests. We'll have to go check it out. On <laughs> September 29th, they're going to be featuring another local artist, Cruz Ortiz, and his work. And for more information on Feliz Modern, you can visit salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, it's Ninja School for Kids. Ninja, jump. How your kids can train with the Genie Ninja from America Ninja Warrior. And it's bright, bold, and perfect for your kitchen. HEB is here with their new line of their kitchenware for the fall. You can't wait until you see some of these kitchen gadgets. And prices are fantastic. Stay with us. After. a new Go Public Cool Schools contest. Three schools are in the running this month from Southwest ISD with outstanding programs that feature aviation, robotics, and alternative fuel cars. They are Sky Harbor Elementary, Bob Hope Elementary, and Southwest Legacy High School. You can go to salive.com right now to read more about each of these schools and what makes them so cool. Then vote for your favorite and the one you want to see featured on our show. Also, a very big thank you to Go Public for making the Cool Schools contest possible each month. For more information on them, we visit gopublic.com. Aviation robotics and alternative fuel cars. You know, it's not reading, writing, just arithmetic, yeah? <laughs> Aviation, alternative fuel cars, getting kind of high tech on us now, so. All right, this is a great idea for kids, especially the rambunctious ones. Ninja. That one. Ninja. It is, as you said, a ninja class taught by American Ninja Warrior, the Genie Ninja. You got to think of a name during this story. So. Okay. <laughs> as a kid to go to ninja school. Well, now you can. How's it going, guys? Hey, we are here at Jump Flip Land, and Thomas Stillings joins me. You may recognize him from American Ninja Warrior, and he is the genie ninja. This place is so cool. Tell us about it. Well, uh, here at Jump Flip Land, we're a facility where you can bring your kids or even bring yourselves as adults to come train American Ninja Warrior parkour, even just like basic acrobatics, skills, and calisthenics. Let's talk about how much fun the kids have when they come here. Oh yeah, every, every kid who comes in here, at first, you know, if it's their first time, they'll be a little timid because it's, you know, they've wanted to do it and they, they don't know if they're going to have a little bit of fun or just kind of mess up or just be like, ah, go crazy. But every single time, the parents have to drag them out of here because they have so much fun. And one of the first things they always do is the warped wall. Every kid who comes in here guaranteed is gonna go for that warped wall the first time. And here we have two of them. We have a 13 and a half foot two scale warped wall that's just like the show. Just about, you know, it's just a foot smaller. But we also have a 10 foot warped wall that has the proper radius of it. So it's just like if you took the warped wall on the show and just shrunk it down to size of 10 feet. So the kids go there, they get the same feeling that I do when I'm on the show and they spend so much time on that thing. So what's one of the first things when kids, because they've seen you on the show, they come in here, what's one of the first things they always say to you? I'm known as the genie ninja and I'm known for wearing those big baggy genie pants and that's what they always want to see. So I actually have to carry those with me everywhere so I can just throw them on over whatever pants I'm having because they love it's, it's, it's my it's become my thing all right we may have to have you throw those on because you're gonna try and teach me a couple of things right now right sounds good okay 
I mean, I don't know where he went. He was just supposed to get some pants. I'm here with my pants. Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm looking for the bottle you came out of. <laughs> oh, I put that in the back. <laughs> All right, what's the first thing we're going to do? That's all you're doing, is you're just sliding the bar up and coming back to that impact. So what hand, what hand do you write with? This one. Right hand, so you're going to go right hand over, uh -huh. left hand underneath. OK. All right, here we go. Little motion. You're gonna start on the big ring. Uh huh. You're gonna lift your feet up. Lift try to up. swing. Grab the second one. Mm -hmm. Put two hands on it. Two hands on the second one. <laughs> so. Nice. Good. Good. Now try to. There it is. Nice. That's it. That's it. And there he is. work on is a technique where we're going to lean back a little bit and that's going to allow our feet to get a little more traction. Uh -huh. You're not going to lean back super far uh -huh. but just that little bit of lean back so our chest and our hips are going to be lined up with the top of the wall. It's going to allow us to stay on the wall and jump up straight up instead of going in. Hey man that looks so easy. You can do it. That's it. Go, 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 go. Mm. That's it. Go, 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 go. Ah! Hey! <laughs> nice. Yes! Yes! Ha ha ha. Well, thank you so much. Hey, thanks I for learned a lot out. today. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I learned a lot today, and I might need a little more practice before I become a ninja. Hey, my book, you're already in the community. You're one of us now. All right. For more information, of course, on Jump Flit Land, let them know where to go. You can go onto our website, jumpflipblandsa.com, or call us at 210-259-8602. For more information on Jump Flip Land, just head to our website, salive.com, where we've provided a link. <laughs> Tougher than it looks? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was sore for days. <laughs> well, you said you bring your hands on that one. Yeah, it hurt. Okay. I don't do that stuff every day. All right, we've also posted on our Facebook page at SA Live KSAT. You can go there for a video with the top three tips to, to help your kid uh, on their very own, help your kid on their way to become their very own Ninja Warrior. All right, mm -hmm. coming up, we are getting your kitchen ready for fall with HEB, the latest gadgets you must need to blow your guests away. Cool stuff there, too. And a huge announcement from the Cortez family that we're going to let you in on details a little later in the show. Beautiful shot of downtown. Well, don't you just love it when you have some really, really good cookware and people go, oh, isn't that lovely? And yeah, you know, the meal has to taste good, but if it looks good in the kitchen, that's yeah. half the battle, right? So oh, your kitchen absolutely. Looks good. Absolutely. Exactly. Cindy Gomez is the kitchen buyer <laughs> at HEB. So it's like putting parsley on the plate. Kind of exactly. like that. Exactly. You need that. The cookware, you know, yes, we go to HEB to buy groceries, but this is right there in the store. It's it that is. one aisle, all the kitchen gadgets aisle. It is. It and is. And some of these things are fantastic. And the prices, though, can't be beat. No, they can't. Like this 5.2 quart casserole cast iron you know how heavy that is mm -hmm. that's 29.97 yeah. every day at heb you can't find 30, it 30 bucks for this yes because the equivalent the french name we can't pronounce is probably about five about four times, times that four yeah. or five times mm -hmm. as much as that and yeah. the whole set of this you can find like you said every day at the store right yes okay and because that is great plus it goes from oven to table and it's going to look good if you want to do a big family style meal or something like exactly. that exactly exactly nothing is better than cast iron right and it's very trendy right now it's a healthy way to cook mm -hmm. wonderful way to cook browns beautifully and will last forever now the problem has always been with cast iron though you got to season it and you oil it and put it in the oven and all that but this is it's pre-seasoned pre it's ready to go okay just ready heat it up a little go. oil and you yes. can fry an egg in there and uh -huh. it won't stick to it uh -huh. so all the other great little gadgets here in in nice colors you know to brighten things up it doesn't all have mm -hmm. to be just mm -hmm. silver or black mm -hmm. or white mm -hmm. or something like that uh -huh. um mixing bowls yes. never have enough no and uh that can be prep bowls mixing bowls serving bowls um 
any kind of bowl. Having, and having the nice very colors. Very colorful instead of, and fun. Instead of just yes. the glass bowls. Spatulas, the silicone that doesn't melt or It's burn. high heat. It'll okay. go up to 450 degrees. Um, and then we also have the granite mocajete. Uh, very traditional. It's oh, great wow, for is. grinding spices and herbs. Making also guacamole serving in guacamole in there. Perfect for that. The lime lemon squeezers. Lime squeezers. Uh -huh. uh, acacia cutting board. Um, and then also Texas uh, cookie cutters. So you had said the heavy stuff is for that one five and a half board, uh, 30 mm -hmm. bucks basically. Uh -huh. These things, about how much? Um, this is uh, $14.97. For, for all of this, those bowls. For the six uh -huh. bowls in there mm -hmm. and all that. And uh, the spatula like this is $4. And this is acacia wood handle, high heat silicone tool. And something about a wooden handle I just absolutely love in a spatula, in a spoon, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, these things, and this fooled me. Because we were moving this table yes. around. It's like, yes. oh my goodness, that's going to fall and break into a zillion pieces. But it is... It's melamine. It's melamine. So it's wonderful for indoor or outdoor dining. Yeah, great, great colors, great serving. Um, you know, you get out there in the picnic because it's getting to the point where we can go outside and eat. Now, we are saving the best for last, and this is new for fall. All of this with the copper handle, right? Mm -hmm. This is our uh, black and copper titanium collection. And each season, like the, the collection we just saw, that's in HEB every day, okay. day in and day out. We create a collection each spring and fall mm -hmm. that's totally on trend. And what's really hot right now is copper. Uh, copper in the kitchen is great. So this is copper mixed with titanium to give it extra strength and durability. But it's not solid copper, so it won't get all tarnished no, like copper does. No, it won't. It's copper color with and titanium. Those you said are cast aluminum? Those These pans? are cast aluminum pans um, and cast aluminum 5.6 quart Dutch oven. This is so, deceiving because this is really light. Yes. Because that stuff's pretty yes. hefty over you there. You get the wonderful cooking uh, performance without mm -hmm. all the weight. So some people want the heavy weight and some people don't. So we have something for everybody. And again, everything in the store. Yes. And all of this is exclusively at HEB. HEB designed this, mm -hmm. uh, uh, built it to our specifications, and it can only be found at HEB. Well, you can go to HEB.com slash Cucina Cookware and pick up all this stuff, but why not just go to the store? I mean, Absolutely. That's, that's the simplest thing to do. Milk, eggs, butter, and... And Cucina Ware. <laughs> and it all matches, too. That, like we said, that's half yes. the battle. So. Yes. Okay. Cindy, thank you very much. Thank you. Great stuff. Okay, coming up, the big secret is out or is about to be out. Cortez family has some really big news to share. And later on, we're shaking things up for National Bourbon Month. Yep, there's a month for the bourbon. We're sharing these bourbon recipes and the perfect pairings to go along with it. Stay with us. Our neighbors down the way have a very big surprise that they're going to be announcing today. And let me tell you, it's huge. It's going to blow you away. We're going to go inside and listen in on their press conference to see what this is all about. Viva Fiesta and Viva the Battle of Flowers. Yeah! Next year is the 300 tricentennial celebration here in San Antonio. On top of that, of course, it's Fiesta. So what can we expect from the Battle of Flowers? It's different from every other year. The Battle of Flowers this year has incorporated the tricentennial 300 in our theme. It is going to be 300 timeless treasures. We're going to bring back memories that all of your viewers will love to see, whether it's Playland Park or Kitty Park or Cool Crest Golf. Those things like mi tierra that we love. The 2018 Battle of Flowers Grand Marshal, La Familia Cortez. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning, everyone. We are also very excited to lead this 127th annual Battle of Flowers Parade through a downtown that is creating new memories every day and for it to culminate in our own neighborhood, El Mercado. We hope that through the design of our float that we will help bring to life the 300 years of treasured memories in our historic center city, but also to create new memories uh, along the way. But now we're here with Pete Cortez. Now, Pete, you were up there announcing and giving a speech right after you were announced as the Grand Marshal for the 2000. 18 Battle of Flowers Parade. How excited are you guys for this opportunity? Oh my God, it was so excited. I mean, we found out about this a couple of months ago, and so we've just been having
I mean, we've had a lot of nervous energy waiting for today to happen. I mean, it was really exciting. But even after knowing for two months and hearing the mariachis playing and knowing that it was formally announced, it was very exhilarating. And so now the Cortez family has just been announced as the Grand Marshal for the Battle of Flowers Parade. So, I mean, what can we expect? I mean, three floats, over 40 Grand Marshals. This is unprecedented. This is the first time in history of the Battle of Flowers Parade. This is unprecedented to have such a large, wonderful family be a part of the Battle of Flowers Parade. You're going to expect a wow. That's what your viewers will say. So kicking off this year's parade will be a wow factor. All right, Rhonda, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Like, and so, I mean, we're bringing it up again. We're going to have like three floats, right? I mean, we're talking big time. I mean, 40 Grand Marshals plus, right? Like, the... Yes, we're still working on the number of floats, but it'll be more than one. <laughs> and so how excited should people get for this event? It's going to be unlike any other Battle of Flowers that's ever happened. It's a tricentennial. I mean, what should people prepare for? Absolutely. This is going to be the biggest parade that in the history of San Antonio. Obviously, this is the second largest parade in all of the United States. It's televised worldwide, uh, nationwide, and it's the city's 300th anniversary. It's going to be the most spectacular parade of all times. And I can just tell you, we're already working on a few things um, that are going to be really unique uh, to our float and to what we want to try to do and the message we want to communicate to our community. Well, Pete, from SA Live, your neighbors down the way here, we really want to congratulate you on this opportunity. And thank you so much for being a part of this and helping us be a part of this. And we're excited. Fiesta 2018. We're already getting hopped up for it. It's only September, but we're already getting ready. It's always time to fiesta in San Antonio. <laughs> That's right. It's always time. Yes, to Pete, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So you heard it here on SA Live. The Cortez family is going to be the 2018 Battle of Flowers Grand Marshals. Have lots of floats, lots of fun, and it's going to be the tricentennial here in San Antonio. So you know it's going to be a big party. So stay tuned here on KSAT 12. We are your tricentennial station, and we're going to be providing you with the best content to have the most fun next year for Fiesta. For SA Live, I'm David Elder. the perfect bourbon for your taste palette and budget. We're sharing three different cocktail recipes in honor of National Bourbon Month. We'll be right back with more after this. Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. I didn't get you a card, Fiona. It's National Bourbon Month. No, you got me better. Look at all oh, this liquor on the table. <laughs> what better way to shake things up than with the perfect sip-worthy bourbon cocktail? And Ryan Jones is here, mixologist. And a lot of folks think of bourbon as something maybe that, well, their grandfather drank. And it's not just, uh, you know, it, it's a the drink that you have in a leather chair and a glass of, you know, a couple of fingers of bourbon Gentleman's eat. drink. Yeah, kind of yeah, like that. Definitely. In your man cave. It's something <laughs> like, ex exactly. So It's made for anybody. You don't have to be your grandfather or your father's father or anything to really enjoy So bourbon. it does mix up into some good flavored drinks, right? Absolutely. It's, okay. it's fantastic. I mean, like the one we have here, we have our, this is our Four Roses small batch. Mm -hmm. We have a cocktail here. It's the uh, Holy Moly. Um, but this one's really good. It's good. You can do it with a little bit of ice, water, just by itself. You can do it neat, but uh, it just depends on your palate. It depends on where you want to start, unless you want to go to something a little bit more high end. And, and we're going to learn a little the holy moly right here because we're making three different drinks right with 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 bourbon yes okay and we're pairing them with, with dishes right that complement them so the holy moly goes best with <laughs> that looks I know. it's a uh, chocolate glazed banana bread <laughs> would have never thought banana bread and, and bourbon but what the heck hey why not <laughs> okay exactly. exactly why not so you all right it. ladies first okay so i'm making this over here and this is the no end in sight no end in sight absolutely okay. this is going to be made with the four roses single barrel okay, okay. so what do i do excellent here your jigger, mm -hmm. okay. it's made to put on your fingers, so you can kind of rotate it back and forth, makes okay. it a little easy. Okay. okay, here's your stirring glass, okay. and then you're gonna wanna start with your four roses. Small. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, I never knew that you did it on your fingers so you can Yeah, actually, that's the way this, like the that. jigger is made. You rest it on your fingers and it's it's rounded, so you're able to oh. rotate it into the glass without making a lot of spills. Okay. It so, is an educational show yes. yeah, while absolutely. we drink bourbon. You're gonna fill it up to the line, right, at, just to the top. That one right there. There you go, Okay, Perfect. put that in. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you're gonna, you're gonna use your rosella coffee syrup that I made actually in the bar itself. Okay, you're gonna, same. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. About right there. Yep. Okay. So Perfect. A little bit of coffee. A little okay. bit of coffee, yeah. And then you're going to use the chinar, which is a, it's an amaro, an aperitif. Same. Absolutely. To the top? Right there. Or right sure. there. Yeah, right ah. there. Okay. So again, I'm watching. It. Little, make it a little easier. Just put that there. Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. And then you're, you're done with your jigger and then you're going to use your grapefruit bitters. Which I, I just shook up for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> and you're all just going to put that directly into the canister. Okay. Itself. There you go. And then stir that up. There you go. Okay. Also, I would think a lot of people might be kind of intimidated 
by bourbon. By bourbon? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you've never had it or yeah. you've never really experienced it or know anything about it, then I can understand that. But it definitely has nothing to be scared of. Because the simple drink is, you know, vodka and something else. But yeah. bourbon exactly. has a... Okay. Bourbon is a little bit more, okay. so, in, my, in my opinion, is a little bit more sophisticated. And it is an American spirit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Then you're going to put your strainer on the canister there. Okay. And then you're going to pour it into our glass. Okay. An American drink, because you always think of um, mint juleps. Absolutely. Well, actually, uh, bourbon is now considered an American spirit. It's oh, okay. no longer just something that has to be made in bourbon, Kentucky. Oh. A little ice. A little bit of ice. And then you're going to take your peel, and you're going to kind of just squeeze a little bit of that zest kind of into the glass. Flip it around like this. And squeeze. And then kind of squeeze a little bit out of another. There you go. Okay. Just want to re release some of the oil into the peel itself, and then okay. you're going to place it inside the drink. All right. What am I making over here? Excellent. You're going to be making the Sweet Sanctuary. Okay. This is going to be made with the Four Roses Yellow Label. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be, we need to get you the jigger. Or I can just count oh, them. The you <laughs> could. <laughs> but we're going to try and teach you how to do it the, the mixologist way, I guess. All righty. There you are. So Perfect. One of those. Absolutely. Let me hold this properly. What, Excellent. What you next? can work on it, whichever one you like. If you want, you can go on to the maple vinegar or you can do the okay. dry curacao. I'll do dry curacao in mm -hmm. here. And this is going to be oh. teamed up with, right you know, we went from... Uh, the banana bread over there and a nice salad. Yes, green it's, a, salad it's with basically a, a citrus cocktail, green so. salad and it's going to have a little bit of a okay. the pear actually in the vinaigrette itself. So if someone was, you know, doesn't really have a lot of experience with bourbon, where should they start? Um, believe it or not, you should actually start with, in my opinion, a little bit more of a higher end because it's going to be a little bit more palatable. Pear puree? Just squeeze it right in there. So um, don't go with the cheap stuff because you, you want to... Well, it's it's only it's not really cheap. It's uh -huh. just less expensive. Uh -huh. okay. And the reason you do that is because you can actually make cocktails, and it pairs a little bit better with more flavors. Uh -huh. With more of a higher end one, it's uh -huh. meant to be enjoyed by itself because okay. it has all the depth and all that flavor that it really needs. So if you're time. throwing a party and you might be mixing it with 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 there mixers anyway, you can go a little less expensive, yeah, right? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, there's different there's brands and there's different different types all across the board. Okay, and then you're going to pour it into the strainer here. Oh, okay. got to strain it and strain And how much do each of these bourbons cost real quick? Um, they actually range. Um, this one's going to be about $21. Mm -hmm. um, okay. You're going to get into the small batch. It's going to be roughly around $28 to $30, mm -hmm. just depending. And Happy. then the single barrel is going to be a $44. All right. Happy Bourbon Month. Cheers. Salute. Right. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Just head to our website, essaylive.com. We'll be back with more after this. I thought all right, well, it's happened to all of us at some point. You know, you turn on the water, and you have to wait for the shower to kind of get warm. But we, if you step in right away, it's freezing cold. No hot water. It's definitely a frustrating situation you don't want to be in. So joining me today is Pat Beyer from the Beyer Boys to help you understand what may be happening to your pipes. And, of course, how to save money and save water while we're at this, right? right. It's a win-win. So you know what it's like to stay in the shower. Everybody does it. You walk up the shower, mm -hmm. you turn it on, you walk away usually, mm -hmm. and then come back after the water starts running hot. Or you're standing at the kitchen sink, you turn it on, you walk away, and wait till it comes back. So and it we're can wasting be a, lots of water. a couple of minutes, if not several. Now, I know you've done that before, right? Yeah. Or do you not want to admit that, right? No, I, I can admit that. Okay. I usually will turn it on, and then I'll go pick out my outfit for the day. You know what I mean? While you're waiting for that to warm up. But exactly. meanwhile, there goes that water. It's continuing to run. So that's what we're trying to do is talk a little bit about what's the solution to doing mm -hmm. some of that stuff. And that's what we're going to hopefully talk about today a little bit. Okay. So we've talked about how much, we, we've talked about what happens. How much water are we wasting when, when usually, that goes on? Usually when you, when, if you circulate it right, if you're doing it like we're going to talk mm -hmm. about today, you can save up to 12,000 gallons of water a, day, a, a month just on saving, by, by not turning it on, letting it run in the sink, or letting it run in the shower all day. And just that alone is already going to save money with your right. water bill, with your sewage bill. Right. That's where you see the big savings on mm -hmm. what you're doing on that. But the big thing is, is it's, it, leave, it just takes away that stress in the morning. You're already tired, or you're just got of bed, and you want to get in the shower, and you're just sitting there with your hand out, hoping that Mr. Magic's going to happen with the hot water. Right. So you've got the solution right here. And right. I tell you, we do a lot of food on this show. Yes, we do. Okay, so tell me about the taco pump. Well, it's, it, the, the brand is really a taco pump, but since we're in San Antonio, we're going to call it a taco pump. That is today. how I'm going to remember this, It just this, makes Pat. you feel better to do the taco <laughs> pump today. But basically what the taco pump does is it, it, it's going to keep about an 80-degree temperature at your, at, your, at your fixtures in the area that you have this set up at. So typically what happens, we install it at the farthest place away from the water heater. Okay. So if you have an upstairs, maybe you have the kitchen on the other side of the house from the water heater, we're going to install this, and it circulates the water and keeps that temperature at your sink there at about 80 degrees when you need it. 
Okay. And that's why, because we I look here, because you could look at the distance right. between right. your water heater and where that sink is upstairs in the corner of the house. And that's what can take so much time right. so, to warm up. So, so at night, you're, you're not using it. So what it does, it sits there. The, the water in the pipes themselves to get to your sink or get to whatever is cold. So you have to turn your faucet on, mm -hmm. run it down the, the, the drain, and then you're ready to use your pipe. So what we do is we take that cold water that's in there, re-put it back in the cold water side, save the water, and then bring the hot water to the, to the device that you're, you're turning on. So what's new about this pump? Because this is pretty cool. Well, the, the unique thing about this pump is that you have, um, we have a timer on most of them now, a manual timer that comes on and off. So you can set them to come on and off, knowing your, t but the latest and greatest is like, a, a new, like the new thermostats that are out. It'll actually learn your patterns of when you take a shower, when you turn the sinks on in the kitchen, when you do your dishwashers, the pump actually has a smart computer on it that will learn what your behaviors are and cir circulate the hot water to have it there when you need it. Oh, wow. So it, start, it just starts to know your habits, and then that way it's on between, you know, 8 and 10 a.m. or whatnot. It'll, right. it'll follow your patterns. All right, there's a number on the screen, and how much is this going to cost for viewers? You know, usually it runs about $825 to install it. it that's if you have, and then you have to have some electrical underneath the sink. Uh, if we mount it at the, at the water heater and you have electrical... We can just uh, use the electrical at the water heater. All right. Call 656-9027. Start saving water and saving money. 656-9027. Call the Buyer Boys or head to buyerboys.com.